Casa Beatiel L.A. Cubed is a renowned building located in the center of Barcelona and is one of Antony Gorda Euro unregistered trademark S masterpieces. A remodel of a previously built house, it was redesigned in 1904 by Gorda and has been refurbished several times after that. Gorda S. Assistants Dorma Nexuc Raw Plus or Minus is Igra. Joseph Canalta and Joan Rubia Cubed also contributed to the renovation project. The local name for the building is Casa del Zizos, as it has a visceral, skeletal organic quality. It was originally designed for a middle-class family and situated in a prosperous district of Barcelona. Like everything Gorda designed, only identifiable as modernism or Art Nouveau in the broadest sense. The ground floor, in particular, has unusual trisery, irregular oval windows and flowing sculpted stonework. There are few straight lines, and much of the four section aid is decorated with a colorful mosaic made of broken ceramic tiles. The roof is arched and was likened to the back of a dragon or dinosaur. A common theory about the building is that the rounded feature to the left of center, terminating at the top in a turret and cross, represents the lance of St. George, which has been plunged into the back of the dragon. History Initial construction. The building that is now Casa Beatiel L.A. Cubed was built in 1877 by Antony Gordi, commissioned by Lua S. Salazar NCHEZ. It was a classical building without remarkable characteristics within the eclecticism traditional by the end of the 19th century. The building had a basement, a ground floor, four other floors, and a garden in the back. Beatiel L.A. Cubed family. The house was bought by Joseph Batl L.A. Cubed in 1900. The design of the house made the home undesirable to buyers but the Batl L.A. Cubed family decided to buy the place due to its centralized location. It is located in the middle of Paz Scheid de Gracia, which in the early 20th century was known as a very prestigious and fashionable area. It was an area where the prestigious family could draw attention to themselves. In 1904 Joseph Batl L.A. Cubed still owned the home. The Batl L.A. Cubed family was very well known in Barcelona for its contribution to the textile industry in the city. Mr. Joseph Batl L.A. Cubed I. Casanovas was a textile industrialist who owned a few factories in the city. Mr. Batl L.A. Cubed married Amelia Godobalonzaran, from the family that founded the newspaper La Vanguardia. Joseph wanted an architect that would design a house that was like no other and stood out as being audacious and creative. Both Joseph and his wife were open to anything and they decided not to limit Gorda. Joseph did not want his house to resemble any of the houses of the rest of the Batl L.A. Cubed family, such as Casa Parra, built by the Joseph Vilas Gan. He chose the architect who had designed Park Gar one quarter L because he wanted him to come up with a risky plan. The family lived on the noble floor of Casa Batl L.A. Cubed until the middle of the 1950s. Renovation In 1904 Joseph Batl L.A. Cubed hired Gorda to design his home. At first his plans were to tear down the building and construct a completely new house. Gorda convinced Joseph that a renovation was sufficient and was also able to submit the planning application the same year. The building was completed and refurbished in 1906. He completely changed the main apartment which became the residence for the Batl L.A. Cubed family. He expanded the central well in order to supply light to the whole building and also added new floors. In the same year the Barcelona City Council selected the house as a candidate for that Euro Euro Unregistered Trademark S Best Building Award. The award was given to another architect that year despite Gorda Euro unregistered trademark S design. Refurbishments Joseph Batl L.A. Cube died in 1934 and the house was kept in order by the wife until her death in 1940. After the death of the two parents the house was kept and managed by the children until 1954. In 1954 an insurance company named Sageros Iberia acquired Casa Batl L.A. Cubed and set up offices there. In 1970, the first refurbishment occurred mainly in several of the interior rooms of the house. In 1983, the exterior balconies were restored to their original color and a year later the exterior four section aid was illuminated in the ceremony of La Merca. Multiple uses, in 1993, 
the current owners of Casa Batlla Cubed bought the home and continued refurbishments throughout the whole building. Two years later, in 1995, Casa Batlla Cubed began to hire out its facilities for different events. More than 2,500 square meters of rooms within the building were rented out for many different functions. Due to the building's location and the beauty of the facilities being rented, the rooms of Casa Batlla Cubed were in very high demand and hosted many important events for the city. Design Overview The local name for the building is Casa del Zizos, as it has a visceral, skeletal organic quality. The building looks very remarkable a euro like everything Gorda designed, only identifiable as modernism or Art Nouveau in the broadest sense. The ground floor, in particular, is rather astonishing with tracery, irregular oval windows and flowing sculpted stonework. It seems that the goal of the designer was to avoid straight lines completely. Much of the four section aid is decorated with a mosaic made of broken ceramic tiles that starts in shades of golden orange moving into greenish blues. The roof is arched and was likened to the back of a dragon or dinosaur. A common theory about the building is that the rounded feature to the left of center, terminating at the top in a turret and cross, represents the lance of St. George, which has been plunged into the back of the dragon. Loft the loft is considered to be one of the most unusual spaces. It was formerly a service area for the tenants of the different apartments in the building which contained laundry rooms and storage areas. It is known for its simplicity of shapes and its Mediterranean influence through the use of white on the walls. It contains a series of 60 catenary arches that creates a space which represents the ribcage of an animal. Some people believe that the A Euro or Arab Kajir Euro design of the arches is a ribcage for the dragon A Euro unregistered trademark S spine that is represented in the roof. Noble Floor and Museum The noble floor is larger than 700 square meters, it is the main floor of the building. The noble floor is accessed through a private entrance hall that utilizes skylights resembling tortoise shells and vaulted walls in curving shapes. On the noble floor, there is a spacious landing with direct views to the blue tiling of the building well. On the Paz Shide de Gracia side is Mr. Batlla Cube de Euro unregistered trademark S study, a fast jada and a secluded spot for courting couples, decorated with a mushroom-shaped fireplace. The elaborate and animal-like dark copyright cock continues throughout the whole noble floor. In 2002, the house opened its doors to the public and people were allowed to visit the noble floor. The building was open to the public as part of the celebration of the International Year of Gorda. Casa Batlla cubed with very much unanticipated success and visitors became eager to see the rest of the house. Two years later, in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the beginning of work on Casa Batlla cubed the fifth floor was restored and the house extended its visit to the loft and the well. In 2005, Casa Batlla Cubed became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Roof The roof terrace is one of the most popular features of the entire house due to its famous dragon back design. Gorda represents an Aenimala Euro unregistered trademark S spine by using tiles of different colors on one side. The roof is decorated with four chimney stacks, that are designed to prevent back drafts. Exterior Facade the facade has three distinct sections which are harmoniously integrated. The lower ground floor with the main floor and two first floor galleries are contained in a structure of Montoisie sandstone with undulating lines. The central part, which reaches the last floor, is a multicolored section with protruding balconies. The top of the building is a crown, like a huge gable, which is at the same level as the roof and helps to conceal the room where there used to be water tanks. This room is currently empty. The top displays a trim with ceramic pieces that has attracted multiple interpretations. Roof tiles. The roof's arched profile recalls the spine of a dragon with ceramic tiles for scales, and a small triangular window towards the right of the structure simulates the eye. Legend has it that it was once possible to see the Sagrada Familia through this window, which was being built simultaneously. The view of the Sagrada Familia is now blocked from this vantage point by newer buildings. The tiles were given a metallic sheen to simulate the varying scales of the monster, with the color grading from green on the right side, 
where the head begins, to deep blue and violet in the center, to red and pink on the left side of the building. Tower and bulb, one of the highlights of the facade is a tower topped with a cross of four arms oriented to the cardinal directions. It is a bulbous, root-like structure that evokes plant life. There is a second bulb-shaped structure similarly reminiscent of a thalamus flower, which is represented by a cross with arms that are actually buds announcing the next flowering. The tower is decorated with monograms of Jesus, Maria and Joseph, made of ceramic pieces that stand out golden on the green background that covers the facade. These symbols show the deep religiosity of Gordy, who was inspired by the contemporaneous construction of his basilica to choose the theme of the Holy Family. The bulb was broken when it was delivered, perhaps during transportation. Although the manufacturer committed to redo the broken parts, Gorda liked the aesthetic of the broken masonry and asked that the pieces be stuck to the main structure with lime mortar and held in with a brass ring. Central section The central part of the facade evokes the surface of a lake with water lilies, reminiscent of Monet's Nampa copywriters with gentle ripples and reflections caused by the glass and ceramic mosaic. It is a great undulating surface covered with plaster fragments of colored glass discs combined with 330 rounds of polychrome pottery. The discs were designed by Gorda and Jujol between tests during their stay in Mallorca, while working on the restoration of the Cathedral of Palma. Balcony, finally, above the central part of the facade is a smaller balcony, also in with a different exterior aesthetic, closer to a local type of lily. Two iron arms were installed here to support a pulley to raise and lower furniture. Main floor, the facade of the main floor, made entirely in sandstone, and is supported by two columns. The design is complemented by joinery windows set with multicolored stained glass. In front of the large windows, as if they were pillars that support the complex stone structure, there are six fine columns that seem to simulate the bones of a limb, with an apparent central articulation. In fact, this is a floral decoration. The rounded shapes of the gaps and the lip-like edges carved into the stone surrounding them create a semblance of a fully open mouth, for which the Casa Batlla Cubed has been nicknamed the House of Yawns. The structure repeats on the first floor and in the design of two windows at the ends forming galleries, but on the large central window there are two balconies as described above. Gallery See also, List of Modernism Buildings in Barcelona, References, Basco de Inonel, Joan. La Casa Batlla Cubed. Barcelona, Publications de la Real Cartedra Gorda. PA4. Retrieved March 8, 2012 Basco de Inonel, Joan. Los Jardines de Gorda. Editions UPC. PA 75. ISBN A 9788483015384A, AB, 1, 2, 3, 4, CC 1956, pages 161 a Euro 165, Basco de 1981, Basco de Nonolan 2001, pages 10. Basco de 2001. Pages 75. Basco de 1971. La Huerta 2001, pages 31. Basco de Nonolan 2001, pages 4. Basco de Nonolan 2001, pages 12. External links, official website, Casa Batlla Cubed, Casa Batlla Cubed Store, unofficial websites, virtual tour to Casa Batlla Cubed. Casa Batlla Cubed on GreatBuildings.com, Casa Batlla Cubed Pictures, Casa Batlla Cubed Description, Casa Batlla at GordiDesigner.com, Casa Batlla at Top Passagent.